Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for July 10th, 2023. This is going to be a longer video because we have a lot going on. So the keys to today are to allow yourself to observe what is happening, what you're feeling, and what you're realizing about yourself, and commit to a long-term daily plan about how you're going to adjust whatever you're realizing needs to be adjusted, whatever needs to be healed, whatever needs to be addressed. Because this whole week, the transits are really saying, what's going on with your ego? What's going on with your subconscious? How are you disassociating? Where do you have your value or your perceptions or your mores placed outside of yourself rather than inside of yourself? And what do you need to do to feel like you're actually living a life that you really want to live and not living in the shadows of your trauma or being held hostage by your fears. And if you are able to allow yourself to kind of take this wider view of what needs to be done and not get lost in nitpicking or in arguments or distractions, then you're going to be going on the path of what the universe is really, I'm calling the long internal development of the transits that we have going on. And I say this because we have the moon in Aries and the moon is going to be in Aries up until 7, 10 p.m. And then at 7, 55 p.m. it's going to move into Taurus. Everything I'm talking about mostly happens with the moon is in Aries. And so when the moon is in Aries, this is about your body. This is about your brand. This is about your brain. This is about how you're thinking about yourself, how you're acting out your desires, where your drive is, where your focus is. This is the planet of Mars. You know, this is a house of Mars. So this is about action. This is what we're doing. And Mars today is moving into Virgo and Mars in Virgo does add this fire to the furnace of what you're doing to your day-to-day -day habits, right? Virgo in itself is very meticulous. This is an energy of like, what's going on with your health? What's going on with your day-to-day -day habits? What is going on in the physical structures of your life so that you are making your dreams come true? And Mars is going to be in Virgo up until... August 12th and then move out of Virgo around October. So this is a very long transit. So please allow yourself to remember that whatever we're starting now isn't going to get done in a day. This is a long-term plan for yourself. And so with Mars in Virgo now, with the moon in Aries is making a trine to its ruling planet Mars in Virgo. So this is where you're going to be really aware about what you want to do. You're going to suddenly have this drive to like get up and do something and let yourself do it. Also, you might have a drive to let yourself rest. Remember, we're all in the process of decentralizing capitalism and patriarchy in one way or another in our lives. Hopefully so. Right. And so allow yourself to do what you need to do to make the list, to make the plans and to tap into what needs to be done. And we also have the moon making a conjunction to Chiron. And so there is, again, this awareness about what's hurting, about what you may be using your ego to hide about the pains and things that you do need to take time to commit to healing and to understanding. And we also have the moon making a trine to Venus that is still in Leo. And so there is this understanding of I got to do work to shine to have the beauty, to have the value that I want in my life, right? Everybody can say they're royal, but are you making the sacrifices that you need to do to sit on the throne, right? Everybody wants to be an ascended master, but not everybody wants to go through the dark night of the soul. And so this is where the cream of the crop is really going to happen, not externally, but internally. Are you developing the fortitude and understanding and the commitment to your own healing and accountability that you need to really manifest the highest vibration of who you you are. And in one way or another, some places it's a yes and other places it's a no. And that's just the way life is. We also have the moon making a square to Mercury. And again, then we have this conversation about what you're really feeling, right? Aries not necessarily wants to deal with their feeling. Aries doesn't necessarily want to sit and deal with why they're going to war, right? But what are you warring for and why are you warring for it? Is this about ego? Is this about perception? Is this about some type of honor that's being determined by an external force? Or are you going to war for yourself, for your own healing, for your own understanding and for your own self-compassion? Hopefully you are, but again, in some way or another, we aren't. And that's just the matter of fact truth of it. And if you show up for yourself, you can really heal about it. And then we also just have this overall energy of what the hell am I going to do about it with Mercury opposing Pluto still in effect today. And so now that energy of Mercury, the planet of communication in opposition to Pluto is really highlighting like what your subconscious is doing. And I always say this to people, if you're not using your shadow, your shadow's using you. And if you're not 